Creative industries at the moment facing quite some fundamental changes. They're not only facing changes themselves because the boundaries between the different sectors within the creative industries are blurring, but they're also the boundaries between creative industries and other industries like tourism, uh, the experience economy, they are changing, but also new um, industries are emerging, um, like the experience industry. So, therefore, one not only needs to try to facilitate the linkages and synergies between the different industries, but one also needs to basically face the transitions and prepare for it. And sometimes too many actors in the creative industries are still trying to defend sectoral current status quo and business models uh, instead of going for the new opportunities that are arising. The main actions to be taken is to create more cross-European programs to connect both the creative sector and the other sectors in Europe and to create uh, more opportunities for uh, creatives to really release their potential for innovation towards other companies. So we need more matchmaking activities, more business support, innovation activities, and especially also more cross-European matchmaking in that sense, not just within countries, but also uh, maximizing the potential uh, benefits of bringing the whole of Europe together. Uh, give us more on how to grow your industry, uh, how to uh, strengthen it, mm -hmm. and then how to internationalize it. This is what we've discussed a lot, but that, that we feel uh, an area where we need to uh, go deeper into. And it was a good visualization of my business. Yeah. Some reflections. Sweden always has always been uh, a champion in mobilizing the resources in culture creative industries and I think that this report is the best proof of it. In terms of transferability I think it's worth to share this report with other countries and uh, disseminate this best practice. There are good handbooks and there are handbooks that are not so good or useful. Uh, in, in this case uh, what we heard from a presentation just previously and what I could read and already heard before, this one clearly corresponds to the need of the creative people and those who are uh, willing to develop their businesses in cultural and creative sectors. And I really like the kind of grassroots approach. It's not theoretical, there's plenty of stuff on theoretical aspects and, and questions. What really, I mean, the people who are running businesses in cultural and creative industries, they Usually they need practical information and, and that seems to be exactly what the handbook is doing. As the name suggests, it is a handbook, so I, I think it is a very valuable one indeed.